Hola mi amigos, I'm not sure how about you, but I love getting packages. Especially when the package has the picture of a very nice airplane on it. So, without further ado, let's open the box that contains the Atom RC Swordfish airplane. You see, over here, it even has the picture. It's a twin motor. I like twin motors. So, Let's go! This video was created thanks to my patrons and YouTube members. Your constant support is one of the major things that keeps this channel running. Thanks a lot, guys and girls. If you are not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. That's the box. And as you can see, it's kinda a big one because it doesn't fit in the frame. But because this is the only place when I can film the video, well, we will just have to live with that. So, let's see what's inside. A lot of the bubble wrap, so... I wonder if you can still hear me. And we have a wings. Uh, the first wing, this looks like a right wing for the swordfish. With already pre-installed motor. By the way, this is the return to home version that has the flight controller and INAV installed and ready. You only have to add the FPV if you want to fly the FPV. So we have one motor, which is the 2306. Uh, and I think this is supposed to run with the 7-inch propellers. I would personally use slightly bigger motor for the 7-inch prop, but okay. We have a pretty nice ailerons over here with the servos and the, look, the servo is on the bottom side of the wing. Here we have the ESC enclosed and, nice touch, LED lights on the tips of the wing. Ah, you know, lights are always cool. Servo linkage is protected by this enclosure. And look, the aileron is reinforced with the carbon strip, so it should pretty nicely be a stiff aileron and do not have any problems in flight. On this side we have... Oh! We have XT30 and additional connector and this thing looks like a latch that will lock the wing into the fuselage. Let me take the wings out and let's see how the main fuselage looks like. With the wings out, here looks like a tail section. Two tail sections. This is the V-tail, so we're gonna have two. And if I'm correct, I wonder what those slots are over here because I never saw anything attached to it on any of the pictures. And I think, and I'm pretty sure I'm right on that, this is a negative swept tail. Wonder why, definitely looks cool, but uh, let's see how it's gonna end up in flight. One more time, it's reinforced. You see, you can see a black part over here when the carbon spar is installed. And one more time, carbon reinforcement on the control surface. Nice. And I think they will go like that into the tail. With the tail out, we have the instruction manual, which is Chinese and apparently English. You see, there are like five different versions of the of the swordfish, starting from the kit, going into return to home, VTX, camera and everything installed. Well, I do not have the camera installed, but this is a good thing because I want to make this thing fly with the DJI installed. Um, so we will not waste any resources and we have pretty nice manual how to connect everything. You see, the GPS goes over here, how to install ESCs. I haven't seen over here anything about the DJI setup, but apparently we will find out as we go. Now let's take a look at the fuselage. Nicely protected, this thing will definitely not go anywhere. And what we have over here? Oh, this thing has a, <laughs> has a wheel landing gear. This is nice. This is foamy. I doesn't care about that personally because I fly on the grass on the on the field, so this thing will not be required. But who knows? Mm, we have the GPS installed over here. This is, I think, the compartment that will be used for the DJI FPV. Here's the place for the camera, and I think that camera will have to also be here, because if I will install the camera for the DJI here, there's not a chance I can wire the wire that long that will go over here. 
but there are some extra parts we will see how it goes what's in the what's over here well, traditionally the place to install the battery. Oh, look, there are marks for the battery compartment, so you can always place the battery in exactly the same position. This is nice, this is nice. The rods for the tail are metal and nicely enclosed over here. That means that we will have to have servos installed somewhere here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So we have two servos over here for the tail and we have the flight controller which is the Atom RC design which is called Atom RC F405 Navi with the USB-C, a buzzer, capacitor installed and I see all the wires to the motors ready. There is no radio receiver but one more time this is expected I will have to just plug my own radio receiver and make a decision where to install the antennas. No idea yet but I'm pretty sure I will figure something out. Okay, what else? The tail, because the tail is something that kind of puzzles me. Looks like the tail should be installed something like that, but how it is installed? I think over here there are places for screws that should hold everything together. Oh, and even this piece over here that should hopefully protect the tail during the landings. So this is one more time nice. You just connect the... Uh, oh, but this is interesting. Why this is... Ah, okay, you have to turn it to, to make it fit. So with the screw you can install the, the tail. The tail apparently is not that easy detachable, uh, but I think the wings are. In the set there is a carbon pipe that should go like this. And look how long it is. Apparently the whole wing is supported by the carbon pipe. This should give a really nice stiffness on the wings and hopefully wings will not rub too much during the flight. On the other hand, it has motors on the wings, so, so it better be kind of stiff. And then we just take a wing with the motor installed and the ESC and uh, well... Move it inside, something fall, oh well. Here we have the XT30 that will power the motor and the additional connector that nicely plugs in over here. This is the signal for the ESC and this is apparently also for the LED light at the, at the wing tip. Nice! I like it, I like it. We all like blink blink. Uh, let's move the wing into place. It's not that easy because wires are kind of long. And um, the wing is right now locked into place. Like I mentioned in the very beginning, this over here is the latch that allows you, if you press it, then you can take the wing out. But if not, then the wing is nicely connected and should not, hopefully should not uh, disintegrate in during the flight. However, the sticker on the servo is kind of like falling apart already. So maybe I will just remove the sticker from the servo because right now, if it's already delaminating, that it's just an additional drag. Nice. I will most probably cover the lead... Uh, uh, part of the wing with some reinforce reinforcing tape and I think I will also cover this to make sure that the wire do not come out But besides that everything is nicely done over here. I like it If you have the analog, this is the place for the camera then you wire the camera to the VTX that goes over here Let's see what are the VTX mounting options. But before that, there is also additional canopy for the, for the nose, for the battery compartment, which allows you to install the camera, HD camera, or the whole FPV setup over here. Seems like a nice idea. I'm not sure if I will be using that, but I know that a lot of people like to put something like a gimbal on the HD camera, or even just pan and tilt over here. So you have the 
option. Either you will use this one or you will use this one. Also in the kit you have those foamy things that allows you to cover the holes in the fuselage that you won't be using. Like I will not be using this so I just put this piece of the foam instead and it's nicely streamlined already. And uh, also when no VTX then you just push in this element over here and also the element that covers the GPS compartment over here. Nice. If you want to use the VTX, especially like me, the DJI Vista or Air Unit, I have not decided yet. Here we have a couple of mounting options. This I think is the let me remove the foam. This, I think, is the generic uh, cover over here that allows you to put everything inside, including the cooling. You see, there is a small intake for air for cooling. And then we have two of those, a short one and a tall one. But on the other hand, the mounting holes are on the exactly the same place. Uh, I wonder why like that. I will probably just use this one. So I think you just attach this with the screws. Here goes the camera and you have view over the nose. I would prefer to have an abstracted view, but I don't think this is doable with the DJI with this setup. Anyhow, and here something that looks like the option for the cameras, uh, for the antennas of the air unit. This is 3D printed, just like the this, this tower section, but this is molded uh, and I think I would prefer molded everywhere personally, I think. But I suppose it's also fine. And when you install both wings, this is how it works looks like. Oh, by the way, should we test if the lights on the wings are operational? I think I want to. Let me find the battery. Okay, 4S battery. This is, by the way, absolutely designed for the 4S. I checked the motor specs and the ESC and rather I would not really connect 6S to it, but 4S should be absolutely fine. Yeah! Okay, we have some beeps and look! Look what's happening. Green light on the right wing and the red light on the left one. And because I know there are already a few videos from people who made them, the swordfish, I will probably find out sooner by watching someone else's review than mine. Because unfortunately here on the northern hemisphere the weather is abysmal. It's wet, it's raining, it's windy and I'm not sure if I will want to do the maiden in such a conditions. I like it. Looks awesome. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!